I once ended things with someone because I thought that they focused too much on the negative in life. And when I told this person, their response was, well, yeah, it's not realistic to be good vibes only all the time. That's just not who I am. Which brings me to today's topic of toxic positivity, which is when we only acknowledge the positive things in life and completely fail to acknowledge the negative things in life. And the problem with this is when we take this to an excessive level, we really start to take away from a genuine human experience. And in a way it can kind of be seen as gaslighting if we're invalidating feelings. So this might look like when someone says, oh, don't feel that way. You shouldn't feel that way. Don't think like that. Just think positive thoughts. It could be a lot worse, which is kind of reminiscent on my comparing traumas video. So in this specific scenario where I was ending things with someone, it wasn't that I was invalidating their feelings. It was just that I thought that their reaction wasn't proportionate to the scenario. So what happened was that this person had wasted a few hours of their day due to external circumstances, things that they could not help. And they got so angry that they thought that they wanted to just scream and punch something and then use this anger holding on to it for the rest of the day so that they could have a really good workout later that evening. And while I was supportive of this person saying things like, I'm sorry, that really sucks. Like I can help you in X, Y, and Z way. I personally felt like internally, my dialogue was that because it was not something that this person could change or fix, that it really was not worth all that energy. But again, everyone experiences things differently. And externally, I was supportive of this person, but internally I knew that the way that they managed their, their stress and their emotions wasn't in line with how I manage mine. So going back to the original question, was this toxic positivity? Just because you shouldn't go around invalidating people's feelings doesn't mean that you should keep people around if they aren't in line with how you personally manage your emotions and your stress. And especially so if, if the way that they do it can be a bit draining for you. So if we're not wanting to promote toxic positivity, where we want to make sure that we're validating all feelings, good or bad, but we don't want to, you know, really have these negative emotions take control of us, where we're not holding on to that negative energy for too long, where is the middle ground? So here are a couple questions to ask yourself and these were questions that I learned from Anna psychology videos, which I will link down below. The topic was really on how to deal with feelings of envy and jealousy, but I think this can really be applicable to managing any sort of emotion. The first question is, does the feeling truly fit the scenario? And you know, if you don't feel like you can be really objective in asking yourself this, you can always ask someone else to get a third party opinion. So in this scenario where this person had a few days of their hours, hours <laughs> wasted, yes, I think the anger and the irritation was absolutely validated and you know, it was completely fair. And here we're avoiding toxic positivity by acknowledging that. The second question, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with my hands today. The second question to ask yourself is, will acting on this improve the situation? So in this scenario, yelling, punching things, holding on to that anger for the entirety of the day, it's not gonna get those few hours back. And there can be, in my personal opinion, much better ways to manage and express those feelings of anger and stress, you know, by first sitting down and processing these emotions before acting. So you can do that by asking these two questions that we covered in this video, maybe going through another series of questions or exercises that I cover in another video, an acronym called RULER that I'll, I'll link above. But again, really being able to recognize and understand and process your emotions before acting on them in a way that's really not so stress inducing. That can raise your cortisol levels and really raise your blood pressure, affecting your peace of mind and really adding fire to this flame here. This can really have mental and physical health implications further down the line. So to close, don't go around invalidating people's feelings by saying good vibes only, don't think negative thoughts, positive things only all the time. That's just, it's just not sustainable. We're human, we feel things, anger and stress included. However, taking the time to learn how to manage, you know, the, the harder, more difficult emotions is key here for your health, 
both your mental and your physical health and the health of your relationships. So yeah, hope you found that helpful. If you did, make sure to hit that like, subscribe with the bell notification if you aren't already, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.